Hello viewers, today I'm going to show you how to do the reliability test in a mini tab. So for doing that, you need a bunch of failure times data or any sort of data that you want to do the failure test on. So I have taken some failure times data of a certain instrument, which is given in terms of months. So to get started with the reliability test, first you have to go to the stat and scroll down to reliability test slash survival. And then you are doing the distribution analysis for the right censoring. So here you can do the right censoring or arbitrary censoring depending on the data you have. The right censoring is you are going to leave out some of the numbers on the basis of that those failure times is not failed yet or the data is still continuing. So to leave out those data, you can use the right censoring. So for this example, I am not doing any censoring, thinking that all my data are failed at that particular number of months. So at first for the distribution analysis, I have to go to the distribution ID plot to see what kind of distribution my data are fitted to. So you click the distribution ID plot and it will pop up this menu where you have the variables. So I have only one variable that's in C1 column. You go to click, you double click it and it will appear in here. And in the censoring tab, I am not doing any censoring. That's why I'm leaving it as default selection. And I am going to do this test on these particular four different distribution. You can use all the distribution, just the difference would be it's gonna take a little bit longer to simulate. So I'm going to specify it for the sake of this example. And I am taking the variable log normal exponential and normal distribution. Then you click on and the simulation will show you this goodness of fit test. So Anderson Darling goodness of fit test is the less of the number, the better the distribution is. So here we can see that Weevil and not normal is very good distribution for this bunch of data, whereas exponential is the worst fit. And it also gives you a table of percentiles where it explains that for the Weevil distribution, 1% of the instruments gonna be failed in 14 months, while in the log normal distribution, 1% of the instruments gonna fail in 23 months and so on and so forth for the other exponential and normal distributions. And if you scroll through down the page, you will get some other useful information which gonna help you explain your failure criteria. And for the plots, you can see the probability plots for all of these four different distribution that we set. For the Weevil, we have, and for the log normal, we have the base feed, where most of the data are aligned to the base feed line where exponential doesn't fit the data at all. Well, you know, for normal distribution, we have some data deviating from the base field. So based on this test, we can say that the data I have chosen actually follows the log normal distribution. So in the second step, you go to the stat, you scroll to the reliability survival, survival you go to distribution analysis, and you select the distribution over the plot. Here you're gonna see some plot how your probability distribution survival plot looks like for this particular distribution. Because we have narrowed down our search from a whole bunch of distribution to just log normal distribution. So you click the overview plot, you select your variable that is failure times. You don't have any frequency columns. Frequency columns actually signifies that how many incident happen at that at that particular failure times. So I don't I'm not using any frequency column for this example. 
and our parametric analysis will be on log normal distribution depending on the previous test and I'm not doing any censoring, so I'm leaving it behind and I'm clicking open it. And it will give you some kinds of useful information which you can use your probability density function, your feeded data to the distribution, your survival function and your hazard function, how it looks like. So it also gives you some table of statistics which your parameters will look like, your mean standard deviation, and so on and so forth. So one thing to note here that I have using all the 50 failure times and I'm doing not a single censoring. That's what also given in here. So in the next step, you go to this step, you go scroll down to the reliability slash survival, you go to the distribution analysis and you are doing a parametric distribution analysis. So you click in here, you have the variables. We don't have the frequency columns like before and the assume distribution is the log normal distribution. We are not doing any censoring, so I'm leaving it behind. You click the failure mode and I'm not doing any spatial kinds of failure mode, so I'm leaving it as the default selection. So for the estimates, I'm doing the maximum likelihood estimator and you can set the confidence bound in here, whether you want a 90% confidence bound or 95% or 99% depends on the user. So I am going with the 90% confidence level. You have the choice of selection for the confidence interval, whether you want to do the lower bound, upper bound or the two-sided. So I'm going with the two-sided. For the test, what kind of test you can and for now, I'm going to leave it as a default. For the graphs, what kind of graphs you are likely to see? I'm likely to see the probability plot, the survival plot, cumulative failure plot, and the confidence interval on the plot. And if you want to see the hazard plot, you can also check the box. For the result, I'm leaving it as it is. And I'm going to click the OK. And you see, it will give you some useful information on the, the distribution type that you have selected to. So if I go through each of them, that we have all the 50 values to do this analysis. Our estimation method is maximum likelihood. Our distribution is the log normal. And here are the log normal distribution parameter for the location and the scale parameter. And our goodness of fit value for the Anderson Darling test is 0.68 and this is a table of percentile where you can take the information that one percent of the instrument is going to fail at 23 times in three months five percent at 30 months and so on and so forth and if we scroll down further down the page you can see the probability plot for the failure times where these two lines are the 90 percent confidence interval which is shown in the title. So there are some values, some goofy data that are outside of 90% confidence interval. So if you increase this confidence interval, this data probably will be within the bound. This is the survival plot where this 90% confidence interval are plotted. These are my cumulative failure plot and this is the hazard plot. So this is how you can do the reliability test in a mini tab very easily. So thanks for watching the video. So if you have any questions regarding this, you can leave it in the comment section. Thank you.